let us look at what is a code converter if you have one kind of code and you want to convert that particular code to another code then that is called as code conversion for example if you have a gray code or you have a bcd code then you want to convert that gray code to bcd code or bcd code to gray code in the same way if you have a binary code then you want to convert this binary code to gray code then also you can do a code, code uh, create a code conversion circuit the procedure to convert the code will be pretty much the same because uh, we are going to use the same kind of procedure even if you want to make a converter for, from bcd to gray or gray to bcd or if you want to make a code converter from binary to bcd or bcd to binary or in the same way uh, uh, binary to gray and gray to binary so here i am explaining a code converter for uh, a simple code converter that is going to convert a binary code to the gray code okay so first of all let us read a theory about it so what is a code converter so it is sometimes necessary to use the output of one system as an input to another system for example on some systems even if you are using a computer networks on some systems uh, some systems may be using a uh, sci code that is a scii sci code which is a one byte code and some systems may be using edbic code which is uh, or you can or you can say unicode unicode is a two byte code now if these two systems want to communicate with each other then this sci code needs to be converted to unicode or this unicode needs to be converted to sci code but just unicode is designed in such a way that all the sci codes are also valid in case of unicodes right so just just for example sake that uh, sometimes you need to convert one kind of code to another co type of codes okay so a conversion circuit must be inserted between the two systems if each use different codes for same information thus a code converter is a logical circuit whose inputs are bit patterns representing the numbers or characters in one system uh, and whose outputs are the corresponding representation in different code it makes the two systems as compatible right for example here uh, for example this is a logical diagram of a uh, code converter where it is going to take binary some binary codes as input this is a 4 bit binary code and this is going to give a 4 bit gray code as output right and these code converters are usually multiple output circuits a code a combination circuit performs this transformation by means of logic gates a binary code to gray code has four binary inputs input lines for example here we have input line b4 b3 b2 and b1 and here we have output line which is g4 g3 g2 and g1 right and to design the code converter we are going to use a code table treating as a truth table to express each output as a boolean algebraic function to perform all these outputs so what do i mean to say here is uh, let us look at this by example for example this is representing a 4 bit binary code you know with 4 bit binary code there are 16 combinations are possible which are representing the number between 0 to 15 for example these are the 4 bits b1 b2 b3 and b4 right so if we want to represent 0 then this is 0 0 0 0 if we want to represent 5 then this is 0 1 0 1 you already know this right so this is i'm writing a binary code and here i'm writing the corresponding the gray code corresponding gray code okay we have 16 combinations in the, in the same way we have 16 combinations of gray code now if you want to Uh, design this kind of converter which is going to convert a binary code to gray code then uh, you can make a truth table for, for this for example i have created a truth table and then you can make k maps to solve these equations why i am saying k maps because with the help of k map uh, this solving these equations will be very easy for example let us suppose if you want to implement g4 then g4 is represented by this then g4 is represented by this and uh, there is a uh, equation which you can get for this for example here g4 here g4 is having the truth value 1 at 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 so g4 can be written as summation min terms which are true at 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 in the same way if you want to write for g3 Then G three is one at two, three, four, five. Sorry, G three is one at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So it is G three summation two, uh, summation four, five, summation four, five, uh, six to eleven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. 
In the same way, you can make you can do this kind of representation for G2 and G3. Now you can make a K map for this. For example, if you take G4, G4 is true at uh, G4 is true from 8 to 15. So all the bits which are representing 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all these will be one. In the same way, G3 is one at 4, 5, 6 to 11. So it is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. In the same way, if you talk about G2, G2 is 1 at 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. 13, sorry, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 10, 11, 12, 13. So uh, G2 is two, uh, true at uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And then again, you can get for G4, G4, uh, sorry, for G1, G1 is true at 1, 2, uh, 5, 7, 9, 10, and 13, 14. So it is 1, 2, 5, 6, sorry, it is 5, 6, G, G, G1 is true at 6, so it is 1, 2, 5, 6, and then you have uh, 13, 14, and 9, and 10, right, so you can make an equation for all these K maps, for example, this, uh, for this K map, you can represent this K map by B3, B4, X or B3, this K map can by B4, uh, this K map you can represent by B1, X or B3, and this K map by B1, X or B2. And then you can represent all these XORs using this circuit. You can put this circuit inside a diagram like this. So it is taking four uh, code as input and it is giving four binary code, uh, bit binary code as input. It is giving four bit gray code as output, right? So this is how you can easily convert one kind of circuit diagram to another kind of circuit diagram. I hope there is no issues in this because uh, I've, I've written everything before because it saves a lot of time. Uh, if we, I'm going to draw this one by one, then it will take approximately half an hour just to draw this and these K maps and which will be very difficult to solve, which will be uh, very boring. Right, therefore, I've written everything uh, in the beginning and I explained it right now. Okay, if you have any doubts, just let me know. Uh, I'll reply. Uh, uh, to your questions, right? Thank you.